Gen Z is just getting started with adult life, so why are they already burnt out? For years, narratives about members of Gen Z, born from the late 90s to the early 2010s, centered on how they're politically active, socially conscious, and far more together and financially responsible than the millennials before them. But we're starting to hear another story. Gen Z are reportedly feeling intense fatigue and spiritual exhaustion, even as they just begin to take on careers and adult responsibilities. Why do I feel so burnt out all the time when I also feel like I'm doing absolutely Nothing with my life. These days, it seems like people of all ages are exhausted and demoralized by years of the COVID-19 pandemic, staggering inflation and cost of living rises, the isolation of work from home culture, an ever more polarized and angry political environment, escalating violence, and an endless stream of bad news. And some stats suggest Gen Z's burnout is particularly bad. So what does it say if the youngest adults are feeling burnt out already? And will the kids be all right? My mental health shouldn't have to plummet in order to just survive and pay bills. work sentiment is rising, especially among Gen Z. Whether the problem is the long hours and poor conditions of blue-collar jobs or the disconnect of remote white-collar jobs that lack community and purpose, more and more young people are unenthused about the future of work. 98% of the United States population that has been brainwashed into believing that it's normal to give up five out of every seven days of your week just to make someone else rich for 40, 50 years doing something you don't even actually enjoy. A Deloitte survey found that 40% of Gen Z respondents said they'd like to leave their jobs in two years, and nearly half, 46% of those surveyed, said that they're stressed all or most of the time. According to the BBC, a 2022 Asana survey also found more Gen Z workers were reporting feelings of burnout than other age groups. Gen Z are definitely the loudest about work burnout, especially online. Anti-work sentiment is inspiring a lot of online venting and viral humor, like TikToker Mia Dio's Russian Sugar Baby series. My life's so difficult sometimes. When Sugar Daddy's at work, he expects me to walk the dogs. It's not just about wanting to work less. Gen Z aren't necessarily happy with the way workplace culture is evolving. According to Business Insider, less than a quarter of Gen Z want to work from home full time, the lowest of any working generation. More than 40% worry they'll miss out on networking and community. So with the fading of hustle culture and the rise of the anti-work movement, what is actually motivating Gen Zers as they select long-term careers? There is a financially conservative streak in many Gen Zers, born from the desire to save money and attain the stability they saw many millennials fail to achieve. As USC junior Maya Tribbett told Business Insider, a lot of the fear people my age have about getting jobs right out of college have come from the horror stories of people 10 years older than us. And over the course of the pandemic, we saw how these fears encouraged Gen Z to be more frugal, start saving early, and seek jobs with good benefits. Adulting is already going to be a hard job, so go ahead and set future you up for success with these tips to boost your credit score. But Gen Z's fiscal pragmatism isn't enough to save them from a financially uncertain future. The World Bank estimates that Gen Z could lose $10 trillion in life cycle earnings because of the pandemic. And despite investing earlier, they're set to earn less on their returns. In many ways, the pandemic is affecting Gen Z similarly to how the 2008 housing crisis affected millennials. And the skyrocketing cost of homes, up 34% over the pandemic while wages are not rising at the same level, might make homeownership at least as unattainable for Gen Z as it's been for millennials, if not more. Moreover, for most, fiscal pragmatism isn't going to be enough to sustain deeper career motivation over decades. Another big part of the Gen Z identity is supposedly that they're more idealistic and authentic, less willing to compromise than millennials were. So how is that panning out for them? Actually, evidence suggests Gen Z is demanding more from corporations than previous generations have, setting new expectations for diversity, company culture, wellness, and mental health, and corporate ethos. According to Deloitte, Gen Z wants to see that the companies they're working for are demonstrating a commitment to social change, so this might push companies to act more meaningfully on their broadcasted values as Gen Z becomes an increasingly larger portion of the workforce. We don't want to do work that exploits us or destroys the planet. The work we want to do is community building. And for all their financial woes breeding feelings of hopelessness, there are some positive shifts in the way we view work that could change this whole picture for Gen Z. 
The pandemic has made many companies more open to a variety of more flexible work arrangements, and the five-day work week or nine-to-five workday are starting to be questioned even in the hustle-obsessed U.S. I'm leaving at 4 p.m. and I don't care what anyone says. If you had a business that you were passionate about, then you would know what it takes to run a business, but you don't. Gen Zers increasingly want to pursue non-traditional career paths. While influencing isn't the most stable career choice, earning a living as a social media creator is an appealing and viable possibility for many people today. According to Advertising Week, a 2018 study showed that becoming a social media star was the fourth most popular career aspiration for Gen Z, ranking well above actor or pop star. Many young people learn how to develop and edit content and amass large followings before they even think about applying to college. They'll do online school, they'll do other options because they want to spend more time doing YouTube. Many young people are re-evaluating if the exponentially rising price tag of college is worth it for career payoffs. Overall, since the pandemic hit, the U.S. economy saw a huge increase in freelance workers and entrepreneurs. And Gen Z are the most entrepreneurially minded generation ever. 54% want to start their own company. So Gen Z's superpower in shaping the future of their work may be continuing to not compromise and finding the agency to determine their own paths. It's okay to get burnt out, you know, it's, it's what it is. It's just a signal to you that maybe you need to switch it up a bit. Gen Z isn't only burnt out because of work and finances, they're also starting to feel burnt out politically. Gen Z are known as a politically empowered activist generation who stand up for causes like climate change and gun control and tend to have an open-minded approach to issues of identity, race, and sexuality. Famous figures like Greta Thunberg and Amanda Gorman have helped cement Gen Z's place as role models for activism and social change. When day comes, we step out of the shade of flame and unafraid. But burnout is coming from the fact that Gen Z activism and protests aren't noticeably impacting the political decisions of the much older people in charge. Despite countless protests, demonstrations, and online campaigns, it still seems like nothing is changing. A lot of the elected officials, they were listening to respond rather than listening to understand. Or worse, we're moving backwards, like with the Supreme Court's recent decision to overturn Roe v. Wade and its rulings on gun control and climate change. And for young people, climate change doesn't feel like some distant worry, but a looming, urgent threat. In the Deloitte survey, climate change was the second top concern among Gen Zers. Myself and my generation has really been felt like a sense of urgency because we have not had action seen to stop the climate crisis. In Gen Z's case, their very youth can be a barrier to affecting change. While young people are protesting, advocating, and spreading awareness, not many actually have the formal institutional power to make their goals a reality. Many Gen Zers aren't legally eligible to hold political office yet. On the federal level, state senators must be over 35 and representatives must be older than 25. With conservative agendas ever more overrepresented in Congress compared to their population of voters, and Democratic politicians slow moving or seemingly unable to drive progressive change, Gen Z's voices aren't being heard. In terms of policy, it was your generation that got it wrong so many times. As daunting as it feels, burnout isn't permanent, and there are ways to counter it. One big way is to take a break from your screens. Taking time away from these socials has really made me less accustomed to feeling a certain way because somebody else says so. And overall, it's just made me a lot more happy and content with who I am. Besides the fact that we know social media negatively affects mental health, constantly being on your phone also makes it more difficult to disconnect from work during non-working hours. Spending more time offline and setting clear work-life boundaries can help mitigate the burnout of feeling like you're always on call. Devoting attention to exercise, sleep, and mindfulness are important antidotes and ways of taking care of yourself for the long term. Picking up a book first thing in the morning not only helps me wake up inspired and excited to start my day, but it also stimulates my mind enough for me not to be tempted to go on social media. Similarly, it's crucial to prioritize in-person activities, both personally and professionally. While remote work has certain benefits, it can also make it hard to form deep relationships with coworkers, which make work more enjoyable and socially fulfilling. In the next few years, Gen Z is also going to gain workplace capital, and as they do so, can do more to change the way we view and practice work. By continuing to demand more from the companies they work for, both in terms of social commitments and work-life balance, Gen Z can help create new standards for work which are better for our mental health and well-being. Already, Gen Z is showing greater willingness to pivot careers or change jobs. 
While it's riskier for individual stability, Gen Z is less willing to settle, and this will push companies to do better. 60% of Gen Z says mental health support is a key factor in deciding to choose an employer or stay with an employer. Finally, while burnout from lack of political change and the seemingly hopeless state of the world is more than understandable, it's important to remember that our society can change. But it will require Gen Zers to take an active role in politics, run for office when they come of age, and remain committed in as many concrete ways as possible to protecting and ensuring change for everyone. They can buy ads, they can buy legislation, they can buy policy politicians, but they can't buy us. There are simple, effective policy changes that you can advocate for and get enacted right now. Burnout is a wake-up call, announcing to us that change is needed. Gen Z is still at the beginning of the road, so if you are feeling burnt out now, it's vital to take stock, evaluate, and change course. This is the time to set yourself up for the long term, to find a purpose that can motivate you over the years, or, if that sounds too daunting, to start by making sure that where you are at least feels right for now. I devoted my days to learning, um, reading about topics that I knew I was vaguely interested in but hadn't had the opportunity to explore. It's important to frequently unplug, read critically, know when you're being bombarded with fear-mongering, and focus on leading fulfilling lives with friends, family, and careers you enjoy. Treat yourself. Gen Z has already shown a lot of potential to affect change, so it's crucial to hold on to that vision and drive, even as the so-called real world tries to tell you it's impossible. To the click of a button we can start a movement. Any of us can have a voice and speak up and take action. Thanks for watching the take. Make sure to subscribe and let us know what you want the take on next.